If you use SFM and don't have like the best computer in the world, you probably know you can't export your posters in 4K. It either crashes or just doesn't let you at all. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that, even if your computer isn't very good. So I'm gonna open one of my sessions to just show how to do it. Okay, so here we have one of my posters. So what we're gonna do is uh, just export it as usual. Export movie. I'll just call it 4K test, even though it's not 4K. Image sequence, no wave file, frames, custom, 0, 1. So now you probably can't go any higher than 720p. So I'm gonna stick with that and just export it. Okay, so here we have it. And as you can see, it's quite pixelated, and if you look down here, it says 1280 by 720 so it is definitely 720p. So now, how to make this 4K, or at least a higher resolution, we're gonna use an AI upscaler to upscale it to uh, whatever resolution you want. I went through a couple of AIs, and I found two that were good for Splatoon posters. So, in my opinion, all of these are still good, but for upscaling Splatoon posters, I found the uh, waifu 2 to be very good, which is normally used for anime, but uh, the Splatoon art style is somewhat similar to anime, so it actually works really well. But then when I talked to Blood, uh, she recommended me Upscale.media, which uh, she's been using for quite some time. And I gotta say, it's probably the best one for, for Splatoon posters. So we're gonna click Upload Image, and right away they give you a comparison of uh, the upscaling. To the left you see normal uh, upscaling you do in like uh, Paint.net and uh, just normal editing programs. And to the right you see the AI upscaling, and as you can see, that is very good. That is very sharp and nice. So this will give you 1440p. You can upscale to 4x. For some reason, it doesn't really work for me. I think I think it has to do something with the poster being too large. But either way, 2x is more than enough. But if you really want 4k, I would suggest going to Source Filmmaker here, Properties, and uh, putting this in here. So Source Filmmaker will run at least in 1080p, because then you will be able to upscale this to 4k. But if your computer can't even handle that, you'd have to stick with 1440p for the upscaling, which is, once again, I think it's more than enough. We're not gonna go with enhanced quality. I don't I don't like the look of it. You can try it if you want to, but I don't think it's any good. We're gonna turn it off and just click download image. I can already save it, and now it's already done, so let's take a look at it. And I think the result speaks for itself. Come on, look at that. That is way, way better. One thing to keep in mind, AI isn't perfect. It's not magic, even though it might seem like it sometimes. But as you can see, there are some slightly weird stuff going on here on the ear, and also the earring. And also so I noticed on the ground, it's kind of soft, which if you look at the 720p version, the original, you can see it's also soft here. Well, that is because the AI thought it was supposed to be soft here, so it kept that. Maybe in your mind it wasn't supposed to be that, but the AI can't read your mind, so it goes after what it's been trained for. Despite everything, this is a really good result. Like, come on, you can do this on pretty much any computer. If you can run SFM, you can most definitely do this. <laughs> so then if you want to, you can do some editing. So there we have it. And also now I can show, uh, this is native 4K. So as you can see here, you have the detail of the ground here, but not on the AI. But that is because, well, the AI didn't know any better. It didn't know it was supposed to have any detail there. So yes, the AI is very good for people that can't render out in 4K or whatever resolution you want. But native 4K is still better. I don't think that's a surprise to anyone. But anyway, I hope this was helpful for people that want uh, their posters to be in a higher resolution without having to buy a beefy computer. I'll put the link in the description for Upscale Media. And yeah, that's all I have to say. So thanks so much for watching and bye!